What's up guys, Brian back to talk about The Walking Dead and just have a spoiler discussion. Do spoilers hurt or help the show? Do, who actually spoils the show? You know, sometimes the cast and the producers actually spoil it by accident or something. Do you like or hate spoilers? I myself like spoilers because I still watch the show to see how they actually pull it off. I don't want to know all the information all the time, but I can't help myself because I have the ability to know some of the information, and it's tough sometimes. But like I said, spoilers ahead, obviously, as it's a spoiler video. So if you don't want to know, stop watching now. But the Spoiling Dead fans, in spirit of Greg's spoiler slip, he posted something a little bit ago, and we have a video on it at the other video. Did he spoil the Negan victims? And he had harsh comments condemning such horrible behavior and the Spoiling Dead fans wrote this. So other examples of the powers that be actors that spoiled the show. So Herschel's death spoiled by Norman when he tweeted a pic with Scott Wilson in costume all bloody around his shoulders. Lori's death spoiled by Chandler at a con. And Shane's death spoiled by AMC while promoting the DVD release of season two. So the cast and The Walking Dead and AMC has spoiled things as well as much as other people and groups. So Beth's death spoiled by AMC's Facebook page. The cliffhanger of the mid-season finale of season 3 spoiled by AMC. The episode ended with Merle and Daryl forced to fight to the death. Yet after the episode finished the promo for, for 3.9 which is episode 9 of season 3 showed Daryl and Merle together in the woods. Carl gets his eye shot out, spoiled by Chandler's father at a con event. A fan was dressed up like his, the governor, eye patch and all. Chandler's father approached the fan in the autograph line and said, Hey, my son will be wearing one of those soon. So, it's not so much the spoiling dead fans and other spoiling groups as, look at this, look at all the, the proof that the group has done it too. And Daryl Dixon, Norman Reedus is the biggest culprit out there too. Episode 6.16 is a cliffhanger, spoiled by Lauren when she stated in an interview that this episode is the most cliffhangerist episode that is ever done. Daryl didn't get Lucille, spoiled by Norman in various interviews where he implied that Daryl will be back this season, also tweeted a pic from the set showing Daryl's back scars during episode 7.2 filming. The Lucille victim was to the right of Rick, spoiled by Norman when he tweeted a picture that he cap captioned as 6.16. However, Rick, the blood all over his right eye, was face, did have blood on his face during the season 6 finale. The pic was eventually deleted, and here's that picture right here. Norman Reedus, look at the scar on his neck. It's much worse than what he had in 6.16, the season finale, season 6. Look at the blood on Rick's eye. So the victim, victims, are definitely to the right of Rick Grimes and Norman Reedus, something happens with there too. Look at the kind of the scarring, the ripping of his neck there too, like someone kind of grabbed him and pulled him there. So Norman Reedus and the other people there too are just as guilty as providing information on there too. And can you blame people? So all this was spoiled for the general audience and not just people seeking spoilers, but we're the assholes, right? They wrote that, the Spoiling Dead fans, and it's tough to feel like they're the assholes because they just have a website and a Facebook page. They don't go around posting stuff on Instagram and everything else. But up to date, the Spoiling Dead fans wrote this, I think, two days ago. Good morning, Buttercups. Hope all your spoiler junkies had a fantastic Labor Day weekend. Episode 10 resumes filming today. We hear they're all at the Tyler Perry Studios. So most likely some Kingdom-related filming. Where is that they might be doing studio work all week, so it's probably going to be pretty quiet. If you're in the area, have any updates, please shoot us a message. So it's been slow all week. As today's Friday, September 9th. Probably doing more wrapping up episode 10, Kingdom Filming, Rally Studios, Studio Filming. I posted this picture before, but that is Ezekiel with the bald head with Morgan. And this, but he is in the trailer with Ezekiel. Don't know who the woman is. Maybe she's part of the kingdom as well. But there's just a picture on there too we got from Facebook. Pretty awesome picture of Morgan, Ezekiel, probably Richard, and a kingdom rider as well. So what do you think? Spoilers hate, hurt to help the show? I think they help the show. They bring attention to it and notoriety to it to see how it's played out. But post your comments below, guys. You guys are awesome, and thank you for watching.